Hello folks, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Sydney DeYoungson, and as the video title implies, I'm gonna show you some insane gimbal cinematic shots. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, today's video was supposed to be about how to fake a drone shot using a gimbal and a monopod, and as I was filming, I accidentally discovered some pretty cool and creative camera movements, shots that I've never done before. So enough to the chat shit, let's get to it. So the gimbal that I use was the Zhiyun Crane 2, and the monopod that I use was the new Zhiyun telescopic monopod. I wanted to use a light camera and light lens, so I chose the Sony a6500 along with the Sony 10 to 18 millimeter lens. So I'm not gonna go too much into detail about assembling the Crane 2 onto the telescopic monopod. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just screw the gimbal onto to the monopod. It's not worth showing any b-roll. Unless... So one of the easiest camera movements that you can do with a gimbal and monopod is a jib shot. So for this shot, I had my friend walk on the sidewalk. I started out my shot with a low angle of his feet. And as my friend was walking, I had the camera jib up to show his face. Now this is a great way to introduce a character, especially if they're an important character in a movie. You can see a lot of those examples in a lot of Westerns and hero movies. Just a, just a cool shot. So now we're gonna do a slightly more complicated shot that requires some strength. So for this shot, I had my friend sit in front of the desk as I held the gimbal and the monopod over my friend as if I was holding a boom mic. Now this is called a top-down shot or bird's eye view shot, basically where the camera is facing down at the subject or scene. You can do a little bit of movement here, a little bit of movement there, but just being stationary behind your subject doing an overhead shot like this can provide a really cool way to tell a story. Again, not so hard, just requires a little bit of strength. The next shot is slightly more complicated because there are three parts to it. So for this scene, I had my friend walk through an office towards a computer desk. Just like the previous shot, I wanted to do a top-down shot. But then as my friend pivoted towards the computer desk, I wanted the camera to pivot as well. Oh, wow, okay, Sid, I'm impressed. That's very cool. You know what? You're pretty cool in my books. <laughs> oh, I'm not done yet, Bobby. Once my friend settled in front of the computer, I had the camera boom down towards the keyboard. Pretty cool, huh? Now I could have taken it a little bit further and go all the way down to the keyboard, but let's face it, these arms can't really hold much. And finally, I did this insane shot that required precise blocking and perfect timing all in a single take. So the scene was pretty simple. I just wanted my friend to walk through a parking lot, grab her keys, walk towards the front door of her car, and drive off. Pretty simple, right? But I wanted to film that scene as cinematic as possible, so here's what I did. As my friend was walking through the parking lot, I was walking in front of her, walking backwards with the gimbal and monopod. As my friend went to grab her keys, I had the camera jib down, and as we got closer towards the car, I did a lateral movement as she walked towards the front door of the car, and as she got into the driver's seat, I had the camera move in through the passenger window, follow her hand as she started the car, move the camera so it's back on her face, and the camera stays in the car as she drove off. Well, unbeknownst to you, I actually had another friend hide behind the passenger seat, ready to grab the gimbal and monopod as I handed the camera off. And as my friend drove off in the car, it looks like the camera stayed in the car, and that's because it actually stayed in the car. That's what we call movie magic. So if you have a gimbal and a monopod, then I would highly recommend you trying these shots or come up with some pretty cool and creative shots of your own. Even if you don't have a monopod and you just have a gimbal, just try to think of really cool ways to move the camera to tell a story, whether it's laterally or if you're tilting or panning the camera, whatever, just try to be creative. And even if you don't have a gimbal at all and all you have is just a camera and a lens, that's okay. And so as long as you have a camera in your hand, whether it's a DSLR or the camera on your phone, 
you have the potential to tell a great story. Woo, that was fun. Well, this video was made possible by the Zhiyun Crane 2 and the Zhiyun Telescopic Monopod. So thank you so much, Zhiyun, for sending me those products to test out and play with. And if you guys are interested in getting that combo, then go ahead and check out the video description below to check out those product links. All right, guys, I am out. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you have any questions about filmmaking or camera gear, let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.